Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. Today I'm going to show you how to stop a print midway through to change the filament. Uh, there's a couple of reasons you might want to do this. One is if you're running low on filament and you want to swap it out when you're getting towards the end of the spool. And two, if you want to uh, change the color or change filament type midway through. So let's say you are printing a base or something and in this case I've got a print going right now where it's in silver and then you want it to switch to white midway through. Um, you can do that as well. Now there's two ways to do it. Uh, the first one is going to be just using the controls here on the printer itself, which I'll walk you through. And then the second one, if you're trying to change uh, color midway through, is in Cura. So I'll walk through that process as well. You can have it stop at a specific height, go ahead and move the nozzle off to the side so that you can change out the filament, and then start it back up. Um, that is a good option if you're looking for a more specific print or a specific layer that you want to swap it out at. Uh, if you don't really care about the layer, uh, then just uh, using everything at the printer itself is fine. But if you're really trying to get a more uh, precise uh, result, then you're going to want to use Cura if you're trying to change the color. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to uh, zoom in on the printer and show you what we need to do. Uh, before we do that, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. Today we actually just hit 500 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you for that. All right, guys, I went ahead and zoomed in at the printer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, in this scenario, I don't need to actually change the filament, uh, but let's say you wanted to change this because you're running low or just wanted to switch over to a different color. Uh, first thing you need to do is go to your control and go to pause print. Make sure you hit pause print and not stop print. If you accidentally stop the print, there's no way to resume it back from the current state. All right, so now when you hit pause print, it's going to uh, raise the z-axis a tad bit and then move it off to the home position so that you can actually do your filament swap. All right, so then from there, you'll want to walk through the filament swap process. Here, let's go to prepare. Now, you really won't need to preheat the PLA uh, because it's already up to temperature, but if for some reason your temperature dropped or whatever, uh, just go ahead and hit preheat PLA and then preheat the hot end. And then it will go through that process. Then you can go ahead and swap out your filament, which I will do right now. All right guys, I went ahead and put some white filament in. I uh, went ahead and purged it all out so that uh, it's gonna so we don't have any of the gray or silver left in the feed uh, If you don't know how to change filament on the Endo 3s yet I'll link to a video I did on it in the description below. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward process um, But it does take a little bit of getting used to All right, so now that we have the filament swapped out. Let's go ahead and resume our print Just Go ahead and hit resume print and it's gonna start, it's gonna do a little purge just to make sure that uh, everything is primed and then resume, which I'll show you here in a second when it actually starts back up. All right, so go ahead and just hit continue unless you need to purge more. Um, it purged more than enough. Actually, let me get that out of there. Oops. You can see it left a little ball here. I uh, just wanna get that out of the way. One thing to make a note of, which we should have done a minute ago, uh, is that uh, when you take or when you go ahead and pause the print and the extruder comes off it could leave a little bit of uh, just filament behind so make sure you clean that up uh, before you resume the print all right, and that's really all there is to it so now uh, we'll go ahead and jump over to the computer I will show you how to um, just define everything in Cura. So if you want it to stop 10 millimeters up or at layer 50 as an example, it'll be part of the G-code. It'll automatically pause the print at that point, move the extruder head to where you tell it to go, and then um, just wait for you to uh, come change the filament or do whatever you need to do with it. All right, guys, we're here at the computer. Uh, I've got Cura launched, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the Baby Yoda model as an example. All right, for this scenario, I want to print the bottom base here a dark gray and the rest of the uh, object itself a uh, white. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how. Uh, first thing we want to do is get the height of this base. Um, so we can, if we don't know what it is, which in this case I don't, we can just go ahead and do a quick slice, uh, then go over to preview, and then we can actually get the height. So let's do that real quick. All 
All right, so let's jump over to preview since that's done. And we want to get the height of the base itself. Um, all right, so let's zoom in here. We want to stop at the base here where this is done right before it starts actually building the baby Yoda part of the figure. So let's just go ahead and drop this down layer by layer till we get where we want. So you can see here, it looks like that is the topmost layer. Let's go up a little bit more. 61 is still building that bar, bottom part of the base. As you saw, it added another layer. Uh, 62 might be okay. 63 is starting to build up the figure itself. So I'm going to go with 63. So what I'm going to want to do is stop this print at layer 63 so that I can um, change the filament color. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, Cura actually has this really nice built-in plugin. If we go up to extensions, post processing, and modify G-code, uh, I'm just moving this back out. So we want to add script and then pause at height. So we're going to drop this in here. And you can actually do this multiple times throughout the print if you really wanted to. So if you wanted to change the color a couple times or uh, swap between different filaments or whatever the case may be, you have that option. But in this scenario, I'm only doing it one time. All right, so first thing we want to do is switch this to layer number since we don't know how tall that base is. We just know what layer to stop at. So we're going to stop at layer 63. All right, so then let's go ahead and walk through the rest of these settings. Um, we want to move the print head away from the uh, object when it's being paused. Um, if not, it's going to potentially continue to ooze some filament out and it couldn't mess with the print. So I tend to move this at uh, 25x and 150y. Um, this has worked for me in the past. If you're doing a much larger print, uh, you might have to adjust that based on what you're working with. Uh, I also want to retract the filament a little bit so it takes the pressure off. Um, it just prevents some oozing from happening. So let's just say uh, 10 millimeter. Uh, the retraction speed is fine. Um, and then we're going to go down to the extrude amount. Um, this is uh, really after you swap out the filament before it starts back up again it's telling it how much to uh, how much filament to actually purge if you went through the uh, change filament process and had a solid purge already um, you can leave this at zero um, i tend to just add a little bit here as a buffer uh, so let's just say 25 millimeters just in case i didn't get a complete purge and i want the line to be pure when it goes when it starts back on the print itself and you can also choose to uh, redo layers if you want so if you want it to print the same uh, layer that it was on before again obviously it will be adding an additional layer to the print a single layer uh, shouldn't really offset anything i've never actually done this before if you had a good purge ahead of time and plan everything out right, you don't need to worry about this. But if you want to be safe, you can just add a layer. It won't hurt anything. All right, and then your standby temperature. So uh, let's say you don't know when it's going to hit layer 63 and you're going to bed or going shopping or whatever the case may be. And it might be an hour or two where it's kind of just sitting there waiting. Uh, you can keep the temperature up. Um, I'll typically set this to 50. Uh, it just uh, really keeps the heat block warm and it doesn't take as long to heat up again when it goes to start. And then if you wanted to, you can add some display text. Um, it, to me, it's pointless, but if you wanted to say something on the console, you can do that as well. Um, but that's really all there is to it. So if we go ahead and close this and we obviously we'll have to re-slice to account for that there you go that's all there is to it um, like i said it's a great plugin that's built into cura it gives you a lot of great options um, especially if you know you have uh, some filament left in the roll and you want to try to use as much of it as you can and if you don't have a uh, run out sensor or anything like that um, it's a great option, or if you're trying to switch between filament types or colors, uh, it's also a great option. Um, 
If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And one last thing I wanted to mention here is this Cura part is not specific to any printer. It'll work with uh, whatever you have. Uh, pretty much the entire first part of the video where I was showing you how to swap out the filament midway on a print at the actual printer itself is specific to the Ender 3 or the Creality lineup. It's pretty much the same. Alright guys, so that covers the process to change your filament midway through your print. Whether it's to uh, swap out the filament because you're running low, or if you want to switch to a different filament color or type or whatever the case may be. Uh, if you have any questions on the process, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It'll really help our channel grow. Thank you.